front, we've got Raul. He's working on the driveway. It's, it's like a drain, it's kind of a gutter. So when you come off of the main road into George's property, there's kind of a gutter that we've built there out of cement. And what he's doing is he's putting some really big rocks on both sides of that and packing them in the ground. So it'll go from gravel to big rock to the cement to big rock to the gravel onto his driveway and then he'll be able to go from that gravel into the adokin which goes up his driveway those paver stones. In the back what we have going on is finishing the drainage. Now this has been a humongous undertaking. Um, the complexity of drainage in Nicaragua is so much to consider during the initial build. So not only do we have a retaining wall which seeps water through it to relieve the pressure and the weight on the retaining wall, but we have water coming down from each roof and we have water on the ground everywhere. So we're trying to separate those waters and put the clean water from the roof into that harvest tank. So there's water pipes under the ground everywhere, going everywhere, sub mains and mains that lead to that tank and then overflow drains going out of it. Then we have a septic tank, which is taking all the dark and gray water from the casita and the house into that septic tank, leading into a field and a drainage. And then we have the adios water, which is just the water from the ground and the water seeping from the retaining wall that just gets off the property. So. Doing that after the house is built and after a lot of stuff's been done, it's a big challenge, but the boys have done it and we are about to be finished here. We're less than a week away and this place is gonna look beautiful. Now I'm going to give you a overlook at what needs to be done this week and then we're going to divide it up into teams and see who's going to execute each project. So the first project is going to be finishing concrete. Now finishing concrete is kind of, it's what you see so it's really important but it's also possibly kind of a fast, fast part and the least amount of manpower. So we're going to do the driveway and when we're done with the driveway going in between the Atakin and making it look really nice and smooth, we're gonna move on to all the doors coming in and out of the casita. And then we're gonna follow around the backside, making sure that all of the drainage pathways are finished. We've got a little bit left to finish on that collection drain, which leads to the adios, <laughs> the um, rain harvest and the septic tank. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some finishing on the actual rain harvest tank so we can build George's swing set on top of that. Next up is the final connection to that rain harvest system. So there's a few more four inch uh, pipes that need to be attached into and out of the tank. Um, a few, you know, wax you gotta give with the hammer and the chisel, but that's about it. That'll be free, I'm pretty sure that'll be finished today. Driveway finishing starts at the beginning. We are at the entrance to George's house and we've built a big uh, cement trough that allows the water from up the hill to go across the driveway and down the hill. It works wonderfully. The challenge is that when George comes in off that muddy road, he drags a lot of mud onto his driveway, which goes across his gravel and then eventually gets onto his driveway, which is made of Atakin, and it's just not gonna work. So we need to try and find a way for him to lose the mud by the time he gets to that Atakin. So this big cement thing, we've decided to make an eight inch trough next to it on both sides we're gonna do, and we're gonna use this big uh, drainage rock there so that the mud isn't directly pouring onto the cement. And after that, we're gonna go with gravel on the driveway and we're gonna go gravel all the way up to where the Atakin starts up there behind me so that by that time, we should be getting rid of all the, the mud. Next section is gonna be painting, uh, which is not that big of a deal. We do need to do quite a bit of painting. Some of the paint that was put on the last coat wasn't the most ideal paint. So we're gonna go over and basically scrape it off, quite a, quite a lot of it actually, we're gonna scrape off and then we're gonna put the new layer of this protective paint that's really good uh, for waterproofing concrete. And we'll put that on everything. So we've got the areas to do like the back retaining wall. We've got a section near where the gas used to be hooked up, where we removed a structure, we need to repaint there. Then all around the casita, um, up and down the driveways, we're gonna paint all those sides so it looks really nice. Even on the back wall, we might do a little more plaster on the back wall, uh, or we might just scrape it off and paint it white and call it done. 
Um, that's about it for painting. It's not that big of a deal, but it is a good day's work. Next up is general cleaning and landscaping. So general cleaning is basically picking up all the wood pieces, any leftover metal or uh, rock and concrete supplies and organizing them neatly somewhere on George's property that's not gonna be in his way. The next is gonna be that landscaping. So it's gonna be moving Adokin around. No, I'm sorry, not Adokin. We're gonna be moving Piedra Cantera. Now, Piedra Cantera are the brick-like concrete chunks that we've used to uh, line the driveway. We're also going to be using some of those to make a water feature um, out of a drain, which will help with the water that comes off the side of the mountain at George's house. Um, then we're gonna be leveling the ground in the front and just making sure that it's nice and uh, good topsoil on there. It looks beautiful so that George can get his uh, garden going. And then in the back, we're basically gonna be leveling it and then creating a little bit of a slope so that it is everything that's naturally falling on that back uh, ground there is going along the side of the house and then making its way down to the road off of George's property. Last piece of the puzzle is going to be welding. So we've got some metal work to do. It's um, not really challenging metal work to do, but it is quite a bit that we gotta get done and it's all kind of custom. So the first thing we're gonna do is build that gate that goes around the gas tanks where George has them now conveniently stored. Um, we're also gonna use the welder. He's possibly gonna help us build some footings for the um, backup generator. And then last but not least by any means, he is going to be building a door, a man door, that's gonna lead into the harvest collection tank. And he's also gonna be doing all of the drains. So the drains is a pretty big project. And they're, you know, a quarter inch different here and there. So we're gonna actually have him come on site and do all of the welding project right here so that we can go piece by piece and make sure it fits perfectly. What a special day it was today. I think we've got a few more challenges coming our way this week, but we at least have a list of what needs to be done. Uh, we'll see if weather plays a role in that as it usually always does here in Nicaragua. Also, will the ferreterias have the materials that we need? We'll never know until we go. So hopefully something that we've done here today has inspired you to do what inspires you right on.